Hello, my name is Kayla Silver. I am in my cozy kitchen here in Essex Junction, Vermont, where I plan to start and operate my business Salt and Bubbles Wine Bar and Market. It is a small and intimate place for gathering, for sharing community, for uplifting each other, and for drinking some delicious natural wine. Um, the business is a combination wine bar and market where uh, the wine bar seats about 22 people, nice and cozy, um, and the market sells a variety of wines from all over the world focusing on uh, price performing or lower price point or sometimes what we like to call our everyday or with dinner wines. Um, after a number of surveys and research conducted in the area here, uh, there's a clear need for this kind of business that's not only offering a high quality uh, wine or beer product, as well as some high quality cheeses, charcuterie, and other accoutrement, um, but also just a place for femme friendly and specific and uh, classy establishments to enjoy themselves. Essex Junction is a wonderful place full of uh, a vibrant community, uh, really interested in supporting small, supporting local, um, but there happens to not really be a whole lot of small or local business options here, especially for dining out. Um, and there is especially less in the way of options here um, for local dining that is also sourcing locally um, or sourcing organically or sourcing eco-friendly, anything along those lines. So this store is meant to bring people together, to educate people who want to be educated about wine, um, and to maybe even be educating them in a different way. It's not just about what Cabernet Sauvignon tastes like from California versus Bordeaux. It's also about the um, issues in our industry and about figuring out ways to make those issues either get resolved or uh, creating better jobs or um, you know, finding all sorts of different solutions. Uh, within the blueprint of Salt and Bubbles Wine Bar and Market, we've also made some decisions to try and further ourselves towards that cause. Um, part of the business's model is to uh, eliminate tipping. Our servers will be paid uh, very reasonable and livable wages uh, that they can count on, that doesn't depend on how busy or how slow the business is. It's just because we want to pay them fair wages. Um, in lieu of tipping, we ask our customers to, um, as they adjust to different types of dining experiences, um, we aren't doing a hospitality included where we raise the prices to accommodate for those um, wages given to our staff. We ask instead that uh, the prices stay the same and that what would have been, say, a $10 gratuity or tip on a $50 bill is actually donated. We have a variety of nonprofits that we've chosen to support, um, ranging everything from social justice to uh, women's reproductive rights to the environment and even our wonderful furry four-legged friends locally. Um, some of these nonprofits are going to receive two months of um, fundraising where they also have opportunities to do fundraising events with us uh, where we can um, bring our community together to support that nonprofit but on a day-to-day -day basis those um, funds will be uh, totaled at the end of the two months from the in lieu of tipping model and donated to them. Additionally uh, we hope to do educational classes on what it's like to be in dairy in Vermont, a hot topic these days, what it's like to be a uh, vineyard manager or to be a winemaker. Again, a hot topic these days in the beverage world. Um, so everything that Salt and Bubbles does is meant to uplift the community, to provide a, a new kind of hospitality with education at its center point, um, and offering great service and offering friendly hospitality. That is everything we are all about. This business is extremely important to me. It's something I cannot wait to really dive deep into be knees deep in, I, I can't wait. Um, this funding would help to um, purchase inventory, to purchase our beautiful lighting so that we can have a, a cozy environment. Uh, it would help to um, support our staff as we get started and get them trained up. Um, it would help to, um, of course, as every startup might have, some permitting, maybe some zoning, um, but it's kind of a, a catch-all, every bit helps. Um, and we really appreciate being considered and we hope to be in touch with your organization soon. Thank you. Bye.